Hey, everybody. Two boys, one brain cell. Just one? Just one, baby. Damn. I am Joel Pyro. And I'm the Chuck Ness. And today we're checking out 1914, which is my artist spotlight. And across now marks his place. Featuring Nick Holmes. Napalm something? Um, it's on Napalm, Napalm Records, which oh, is okay. this, actually funny enough. El Uvetti is on them as well. Oh, okay. So they're on the same <laughs> the label. I feel like that's all we've listened to today. Napalm Records? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. <laughs> um, I have heard this one before. Uh, it's been a minute. So uh, we'll see, see what you guys think. And uh, yeah. Who's Nick Holmes? I don't know. Oh, okay. To be honest with you, I can look it up while we're listening. Well, since I've, or, I've already heard it. Yeah, so, but, but you normally know that stuff, so I figured. Yeah, I'll, I'll look into it because I'm okay, curious. Cool.
I wonder if that's based off an actual letter or if it's oh, right here. Name Harrison, author uh, Arthur George, initials AG, nationality, nationality United Kingdom, rank private, uh, regiment machine gun corps, um, unit text, fifth uh, BN. I don't know what BN stands for, but his age was 30. Date of death, um, 1918, uh, looks like May 20th. Service number, yeah. So this is all based off an actual letter. <clears throat> Casually type Commonwealth War Dead, lest we forget. So, mm, that song made me angry. Yeah? Yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> so, here we go. The human writing this, all right? It, yeah. You feel good about yourself? <laughs> like, you're sitting there putting tobacco in your pipe, smoking it, completely safe <laughs> while writing somebody's family that, hey, you just sent their son off to die because you're a piece of shit. And you go fuck yourself because you're not sympathizing. You're writing all these extra details for no damn reason just to hurt people even more. You should fuck off, get your ass out there, and die instead. And, and even worse, the worst part to me was like, hey, if this makes you feel better, here's his number. Yeah, he's not a number. He's got a, he's got a damn name. Dude, that always pisses me off with the military when they have everything numberized. It's like, dude. <sighs> you feel better? No, not quite. Mm. Well, I'm I'm glad these are hitting you hard at least, you know? Whether you like them or not. The lyrically, you got to admit, they make you angry. So angry. It doesn't help the tone of the music. Nope. <laughs> you're just like a mountain. You're getting more pissed off as it goes, you know? You're like, okay. All right. Like. This is fucked. <laughs> okay. So, then you got to think about the perspective of the guy who has to sit there and write it because it's not his fault that he's there. He's like, this is just my job. Right. So, first off, still, you're a piece of shit because you, I mean, that that's fucked up. The way you wrote that, I hated it, everything about it. You, somebody needs to punch you in the mouth. Something needs to happen because that's no, just no. Um, but then, 
Somebody's making you do that, and you're sitting there like, I don't know what the fuck to write, because how do you actually write anything? So there you go. Yeah, this shit's fucked up, and uh, and you've done it hundreds of times as well. Yeah. So yeah. now you're writing this stuff out there, like, hey, uh, uh, now you're just a monster because you don't understand, like, you're not thinking about what those people at the other end of the letter are feeling anymore. Yep. Because you've wrote so many of them, so now that becomes part of the problem. The system's so fucked up, and ah. Uh, actually, if you watch some war movies and stuff, they actually kind of. Uh, break down like I think maybe in Saving Private Ryan they did this. I can't remember exactly, but the um you'll see like rooms full of women on typewriters. Okay. And then that was like their their duty, you know, while the men were away fighting. I'm sure it's a lot of copy paste bullshit too. Well I mean, yeah, that's yeah, I mean you're doing this for hundreds of people. It's yeah. unfortunate. Well here's the kicker. Honestly the person who sent their ass to war should be knocking on every fucking door. Yep. Because it's his. That's what, that's what gets complex because it's not always, you know, our country's fault or their country's fault. If I remember right, with like World War One, it was like the, it started with uh, a duke, uh, the, a duke of, oh my God, I can't remember. Oh, he got assassinated and it sparked all different kinds because the treaties that people had signed yeah. and just kept rolling. And yeah. Boom. So even the, the leaders of the countries didn't have a choice. But. Yeah, I mean, they, I guess everyone has a choice when it comes down to it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody has to make the call to send these people to war. Yes, I, I think world wars, the world wars, you know, they're a little bit different. I could agree with that with, like, Vietnam, for example. Yeah, yeah okay. But, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But, like, I don't know. Germany was doing some pretty horrific shit in World War Two. For example, I didn't I mean? say it wasn't Germany's fault for that. No, no, yeah, but <laughs> like so it's, it's like I, that's what makes things really hard and complex with war in general because like the finding who's in the right and wrong right. is, and then there's so many innocent people that just get fucked over 100%. on top of it. You know what I mean? So it's like it's a hard thought process and, in and general. It's, and again, it's one of those things like, yeah, I'm pissed off at the person that wrote that. That's 100. percent I'm yeah. I mean yes. But then you got to think about, oh, what, what's that person going through mm-hmm. and who put them up to that? And then... Yeah, imagine having to write letters like that all day and then going home. <sighs> yeah. You know what I mean? The it's, psychological it, damage it, just from sitting behind a computer, yeah. sitting behind a keyboard. Yeah. Yep. 100%. Typewriter or with an ink quill. Yeah. Re- regardless. Yeah. The That's why I think a lot of people, it's so easy for them to just pick a side. And just stay on that side regardless of what information is provided to them because it's simpler for them to just have somebody to blame yeah. instead of having to think through this whole process of, holy fuck, we built this system. They built their system. And it's something they're doing that we need to stop. So we go to war. Mm-hmm. Or vice versa, whether it's a, you know, regardless. I mean, there's plenty of things that we can think of, you know, like where you're like, okay, that was not definitely not good. You know, like yeah. we're going to war for oil and shit like that. Right, that's easy. But when you have other people like, you know, with Auschwitz and all the mm-hmm. torture and human experiment uh, that was going on there, I, I think the Japanese were part of some similar shit. Um, to put a stop to that, are you willing to sacrifice all these? You know what I mean? It's, it's hard. Yeah. It's a hard decision to make to start with. And it's not easy. It's easy for us to just say, you know, we don't need war. It's definitely easy, as, easy for us to sit behind a camera and... Speculate. Oh, sure. 100%. That's all it is. All that. And yes, 100%. But like, and, and I will 100% give it up to like this song here because it like, it plays with your emotion. Yeah. Because this song's taking you through and it's kind of reading this letter off kind of, right? Yep. Um, And and <laughs> and it's pissing you off because like the things that are written, like that, no. Yeah. But then like you get pissed off about it and then uh, obviously, I mean, you, obviously yeah. yeah and then and then you as you're pissed off about it then you're thinking about that person that's writing it and you're getting pissed off because what the fuck are they going through and everything just keeps ah. going yeah 100 percent um it's where not does easy it end? where does it end humans are uh can i just be angry that war exists that that's that's fair okay it, it the problem is we're always going to have people that are pieces of shit that try to seize power, and then <laughs> when they get power, they want more power, mm-hmm. and then it leads to this. Mm-hmm. Regardless of countries, um, that's why a lot of people are like it's a systematic problem. But to me, it's a human problem. It's a, oh yeah, 
It's it's the uh, humans suck. Yeah. End of the day, and it's not like all humans suck. It's no certain humans, and when you get certain privileges or certain freedoms or certain amounts of power, and then you get greedy and you want more. Yeah, and it's a natural thing that happens and it's unfortunate and it's sad that it happens. And then you want to be angry at the person that it happens to, but then it happens to somebody else too. Yeah. And it's, it's a, it's a vicious cycle. It's, it's a constant, uh, picking sides of the lesser evil. It's really what it is. You know, Mm -hmm. this is, yeah, not an easy subject Mm. regardless, but, and then it's the terrible part about this too is like, we know from like history and documentaries and all this stuff, like what happened and what is happening. Um, whereas the mothers and families that got this probably had no clue of what. So like when there's like, oh, a shell killed him. Yeah, there's a prior reason they couldn't bring his remains back because there wasn't very much of him left. Right. You know, you know what I mean? We're getting that from the writing and we're understanding where that's coming from. You're like, Jesus Christ, that's fucked up to send to somebody. Yeah. Like, why did you go so in depth? Yeah. You don't need to go in that much detail. Well, it's because, you know, families, I feel like, kind of wanted to know, want to know. And too, I get that too. You know, like, it's in the wondering, it's going to bother you. <laughs> oh, wait, he just died somewhere. We don't really know how he died. We know he went to war. They're not stupid. There's, they there know is, their sons, you know, it's hard. There's that big flip side. Like, yeah, they're going to want to know, but mm-hmm. they don't want to know. Yes, 100%. Yeah. So you write it to them, and even if they don't want to know, now they're forced to know. You got to remember too, you, there wasn't phones either back then. I know. So it's just telegrams and shit. So that, that's what you're waiting on to see if your son lived or died for a month. For, for months, there. yep. And sometimes it'd be there super late, and you know, your son was supposed to be home six months ago. Here's a letter. Yep, hundred percent. What? Yeah. So and definitely not an easy topic at all. But yeah, it's why do you do this to me? It's good for us. It's good for us. <laughs> it is. Stresses us uh, out, but it's good for us. We're getting a little history lesson as well. We could always use a little refresher, and this is a good reason why. I'm proud of you. You went through a whole thought process there. You, you dove into all the little nooks and crannies. I got angry. I know <laughs> so you did. That's, that's what happened. Saw. <sighs> You're breathing heavy and shit. <laughs> I got worked up. What do you want from me? Yeah, it caused mental war in Chuck's head. <laughs> His brain cells are killing each other right now. Not, not tasteful. Not tasteful. I mean, it was pretty good, though. It was, it was fair. <laughs> Trying to lighten the mood here. Um, but, you know, some, uh, some moods aren't meant to be lightened. So. Nope. All right. So, that being said, we're going to dive into the ratings. Yeah. And I'm going to dive into the experience rating. And I'm going to give it a 9.7. On the experience because, rating? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, and then, uh, casual listening <laughs> rating. <laughs> Can't wait. It's going to be a, it's going to be a solid 3.2. And it's not going in a playlist. It's lower than the last one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How, bro? Um, be, okay. Yeah. Because in my casual listening, I don't want to get pissed off at music. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, when I'm having a shitty day, I put this something like this on. Oh, no, this is make my day shittier. Yeah. I want to stay right there. You know what I mean? I want to be happy. No, no. It's pulling those angry emotions out of you and let you kind of uh, express it. Yeah. No, this just adds new ones. No, it focuses your anger. You're pissed off the world. Hey, guess what? Could be worse. Absolutely could be. You're right. And you're like, fuck, I am pissed, but I'm more pissed at these assholes. You know? That's not how my brain works. Oh, okay. At all. (laughs) Unfortunately, yeah, I mean, I, I I like where that I, that I goes. his vocals here I can understand better than the first one though. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, absolutely. His vocals were better. Um, the double bass kind of hit a little harder here. It did in certain spots, but it wasn't the whole song either. The production was a little nicer, except for the vocal production. But the instrumental production was a little crisper than the last album one yeah. we heard. Um, now my turn to rate. This one is a flat eight for me. Experience, both. Both. All right. Straight down the middle. I really enjoy this. Um, it makes me think. And um yeah. It's it's a it's a solid tune, honestly. <clears throat> Not for everybody, but uh it, there's a certain time and again, uh like my writing playlist or anything like that, this is a perfect time for me to listen to something like this. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. 
Well, guys, we're two boys. We we have one brain cell. Hope you enjoyed our intellectual conversations. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed Angry Chuck. <laughs> I, I did. did. I did. <laughs> I was the most quiet I've ever been in a review. I was like, let them go. Let's see what happens. Um, if you guys enjoyed our content, please do us a favor and uh, hit like and subscribe. And obviously, if you enjoyed the 1914, please go check out some more of their music. And uh, yeah. Peace.